Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and recently, in respect to when this video is being made, I made a different video where I discussed the possibilities that were there for the casino, what the good things, the bad things. And in part of that video, I did my impressions of famous YouTubers, some of my favorite YouTubers, reacting to a bad DLC, a worst case scenario. If it was really, really awful, what would they do? What would they say? And I thought to myself, you know, that probably would work as a standalone video. So here you have it, just my impressions of some of the the favorite, you know, YouTubers that I have, the ones that I watch all the time. The famous ones, as far as I'm concerned. Giving you their reaction to a really, really bad casino DLC. Check it out. I'd like to tell you I'm extremely disappointed with this DLC. More disappointed than I expected to be. This DLC makes the Arena Wars DLC look like the greatest thing since the Doomsday Heist. It is garbage. It is... Do not spend a a single GTA dollar on this DLC. First of all, you don't get to buy any part of the casino. There's no business associated with it. What you have to do is you have to spend $25 million just to buy a crappy apartment on the other side of town from which you can plan a heist that requires 11 people and only nets you 100 grand per person. You get no garage space, and we've all been expecting some sort of garage space. They always give us garage spaces. We need spaces for our cars. But the only vehicle they've drip fed so far is the Faggio Deluxe, which costs $75 million. Well, at least it doesn't have advanced handling flags. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is gold-plated bullshit. Hello, dear viewers. It is time for you to summon Charles, have him throw the Faggio Deluxe into the fire, and then have him throw himself into the fire in protest for this awful DLC. But first, make sure he gets you a perfectly chilled gin and tonic. And I know what you're asking. Is it fast? Is it special? Does it have some kind of weapon on it that will let us fight Oppressor Mark II's? No, I didn't say it was the Faggio Mark II. I said it was the Faggio Deluxe. Which means all it is, is a Faggio with a gold paint scheme. Anyone can get this vehicle if they have a, a rank of at least 100. And who doesn't have a rank of 100 nowadays? Come to think of it, are there any bikes with advanced handling flags? Now, if you've already immolated your butler, please remember that you should listen to all directions before proceeding. Come on, little Fagio. You're deluxe. Let's go. In that case, hire and then summon Jeffrey and have him throw himself into the fire as well. But first, have him bring you a perfectly chilled gin and tonic. Now, did you learn anything? Come on. Come on. Let's go. Here we up. <sighs> We're never doing this again. We're never doing this again. Whose idea was this anyway? Hitman? Was it Hitman? Oh, Bayman. And there you have it, folks. Mediocre impressions of some of my favorite YouTubers. If you want to see the original video where that came from and all the other discussion that went along with it, um, let's see, I'll put a link in the description and if I can figure out how to do the eye in the sky thing, maybe I'll do that too. But in the meantime, this is your Black Knight. And I'll see you all later. <laughs> Hey, Rusty Jack. How do you feel about impersonating some major, uh, some major YouTubers for this video? That's got to be fun, right? You want to do that, right? You're all about playing, cosplaying other... Okay, fine. While you're on the payroll, that's what you're going to do as I tell you. You access to millions of dollars, and this is the thanks I get. Rockstar, what is this gold-plated bullshit? Not the train again. Always a train. Get me up here. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a lark!
But in the meantime, this is your Black Knight, and I'll see you all later. And I'll see you all later. And I'll see you all later. And I'll see you all later.